My name is Mike the 991. I am a ghost hunter on GTA 5. For years now, Super Nerd and Mike Rises and I have been trying to search for ghosts. We encountered one in 2021 with the UFOs, including a clown mask, including other haunted locations. It took us a while to get where we're at, and we're finally here to continue the investigation. This is one of the moments here that are real scary, but some of the stuff we know could be very intense. We are the ghost hunting team. We are Ghost Mob Society Hunters. Ghost Hunter Spore. The Final Requiem Hunt 2. Halloween Edition. Welcome back, you guys. I'm here in the Hollywood Hills at the Los Feliz Mansion House, or the should I say, the Los Feliz Murder Mansion. I'm your host, Mike the 91 here. Welcome to another episode. So you can see right now it's actually raining a little bit, but uh, before we continue our investigation about this place here, with me tonight we have Jonathan, we have the twins, Alice, and Christina, we even have Lisa and Ed as well. Um, reason why you guys don't see the big crew at the moment. Um, apparently the, the, there's two people, a few other people, maybe four of the most were actually out for a good reason, which we're not going to go into detail about. So we're just going to keep it smooth as sweet as we can. Uh, there was one that was going to be added in our crew. You probably saw the name. I'm going to say it. I don't care. Elena. Apparently, uh, long story short, she's not going to be featured in this movie or the Christine movie or the next one about coming up. So, screw them. Burn in hell. Kiss my big fat Mexican ass. I don't care. But anyway, so we're here at the Los Feliz Murder Mansion. Here, right then, here in in the Beverly Hills, like I said, but Spanish. near, and that's Alice right that's there, Spanish. saying hi, by the way. She can't speak, yes, so yes, she's saying hello. Is. In the meantime, guys, um, like, obviously, if you guys Spanish haven't seen the rest of the episodes we haven't Spanish put up yet, Spanish. check it out that's when you problem. can, and that's Christina, by the way, that's You're her pointing up. Um... By the time you guys are watching this, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 will already be coming out. But if you guys want to know more about the game, I already posted up the gameplay and campaign mode. There's no walkthrough, it's just me going all the way professional to it. So, in the meantime, guys, we're going to wait till it's nighttime. So, from right here, you know what's going to reach nighttime. So, in the meantime, stay tuned, everybody. And I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Trick or treat. Bitches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll see you guys. Alright, you guys, we're in the terabyte right now. We're heading to the location of what is actually called Los Feliz Murder House. We're actually heading to that location up route right now as we speak. Not so much. Uh, this is a narrow road, so we're going to park the terabyte right inside. So just give us a moment here. I'm your host Mike here, I'm here with Lisa and Edward, and I'm also with uh, twins Christina and Alice. And along with Jonathan, Bunny, Dynamite, and along with <coughs> along with Dean, and Jedi, uh, Caden as well, especially myself, moi, también. As we told you earlier, um... That's what we want to tell you earlier, um, Mandy and Joker are not actually in our ghost hunting thing this time now, so we have a bit of an issue here. So, uh, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, uh, Lisa and Ed take over the whole Los Feliz murder investigation thing, so take it away. Alright, hello guys, welcome to this episode, um, today we'll be, um, investigating the Los Monster Manson. Here, there was a murder back in the 1959 Alice watch out for that December clown please six. it might be right here somewhere I don't know sorry go ahead December 6 1959 in the, a mansion that is site on low 50 the hilltop in Los Angeles the doctor Howard struck his wife to death with a hammer and then 
His daughter was standing there looking. He said, daughter, go back to your room. Yeah, it's only a dream. And then he murdered his, basically, he suddenly beat his 18-year-old daughter and then end his own life. They get of the water, acid, and pills. So he basically the same he was possessed. Right. So he was possessed by had when he was killed. Which he killed after he killed himself. There's a book in his hand of a, a possessed like demon like book. They, they say so, also that there is a spirit that um, that approaches a chair clear. near a chair by the name of Harold. So that's basically the little bit of what we got from here because I can't give you full, like all full detail because it came from eventually from the original TV show Ghost Adventures but I had a little bit of an article that I just read to you guys I've got a question got about a question. that actually yes and when you mentioned about that Ghost Adventures did this here exactly the guy that killed his killed his wife did they act was he arrested or did he actually kill himself he killed himself. He had he commit suicide after he killed his wife and basically beat his daughter. Emily is um his orders. He he, he committed suicide. He murdered himself after the, the murder and suicide. The man was sold to a couple. Mm -hmm. Emily and Jersey, who actually used it for for these their storage, like basically a foot house as a storage unit. Right. But <clears throat> after that, that person only. Couple, couple was seen bringing boxes to the mansion, but they didn't really stay there. Then that night, they call him the vampire. They see him going only in the house. He was brought, he's basically part of the military, but they see him only going in the house, coming out the house at nighttime, moving boxes and bags of shoes. They thought that was kind of suspiciously weird. But nobody can get in the house, in the right? House. No, the house is abandoned, but you can technically... People have broken in. They said people have broken into the house just to see what it's like, and people have came out, not the same. So what we're dealing here is a possible demonic presence that we're dealing, like an exorcism kind of thing. Yes, they believe that the husband was possessed. From the hmm. story they told me. I see. I wonder if we can get someone that can figure out if there's something here. I know actually a guy, everyone. Um, if I can, there's a guy named Mike Casino Jr. who actually can appear here first thing in the morning. I mean, we're going to be here for a while. I mean, right now he's actually in town and he's actually, he's got a higher rank at the Catholic Church. So what I can do, we can search around here and then when he comes in, he can come, you can actually explain to him the story. Well, he knows the story about it, but explain to him the whole demonic possession thing. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that'll actually work. He's done it before, I think two years ago, when during the pandemic, he were at the chapel that happened in the the one we're investigating, we're shooting the rockets and all that. <clears throat> well, this should yeah. be pretty interesting. So my let me ask this. So when when they bought the house, you know, the owners you just mentioned here, and when mm -hmm. you when you also mentioned that people have broken in to see what it is like in there, and from my point of view, my question here was there any uh, cases of any kind of possession? Yes, actually there had. actually was. There was like a couple of them. They're saying somebody came with a good friend of that, like um, Zach Vegans and Nick Grog had somebody investigate with them. A good friend of his, as he came to investigate, told him, don't do it. Be careful, because he went in there, he came out, and he was like, not himself. He was more like something totally unknown there with him. So he basically was like, just um the same he was like basically possessed by the house i see well that's a, actually awesome that's an interesting not just a story but an awesome an interesting topic what i can see so far here all right everybody so i got a text message here 
And yes, the my casino just messaged saying that uh, he'll be happy to talk to us on via chat in the uh, our nerve center. Actually, so why don't we go over there and see what we can can question him about the whole uh, demon thing and exorcism stuff. So we're right back in just a moment, guys. We're gonna actually see you guys in the interview just a bit. Welcome back, you guys. I actually have here my casino junior was actually the uh, digging of the Catholic Church. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to have me here uh, the night. Uh, Lisa's got some questions she wants to ask you about the uh, haunted house that's on the hill. Go right ahead. Hi, Mr. Knight. Um, I want to know if you have heard and more any other detail besides what I told the crew about the haunted house here that was investigating the lost friends that mentioned. Well, there's been a lot of reports that have been happening there lately. It's not just uh, anything out of the ordinary. Uh, one time, uh, somebody said they saw what appears to be a figure, but they said it was inside the house. And um, one of their friends was in there, I mean, just checking it out. I think it was like late at night or something crazy. And experience what appears to be a sound and a voice or whatever and they were not too sure what it is that he saw but he came out very uh differently right okay. out of the uh the house itself yeah so have you, have you recently had to do any exorcism or anything on somebody or having someone do exorcism on them well, I've done a couple of before, but this was like two years ago when I used to do this, and um, I need approval for it, And uh, but I'll be more than honored to see what I can do uh, in that place, if you guys are okay with that, if it's okay with your boss as well. I think yeah, we don't mind. So That's fine. I don't think he would either, because, yeah, because we might need it after this investigation, because with all the bizarre, but, uh, excuse me for my language, um, all fine. the bizonic episode that's been going on here in this house I think that would be one of the best things we could do make sure that we can get that done on everybody so no one becomes possessed I do have a question uh, for him uh, is there a possibility that this could be uh, some kind of different demonic spirit that we're doing there's a possibility that could be uh, um, not an entity as well but also uh, something that's not supposed to be there that was probably possess the uh, the gentleman that was there but I can definitely uh, see what the presence is like uh, if you guys can give me like a little while I can be right there since I can okay no problem sounds good I thanks so much for the help we'll see you soon uh, thank you for having me yep all right guys so he's gonna be on his way and I'm gonna be staying in here in nerve center see if we can actually I'm going to use the drone, see what I can capture with it while he's outside, and see if there's really is something present. Um, okay, and I'm going to go in game so I can hear everything, too. Alright, so he'll be here in a little while, so just stay tuned, guys. We'll just see him just... As we video chatted with the Deacon, Mike Casino, he's on his way to the house and mansion of Los Feliz Mansion Murder. Apparently, he's actually really concerned about the whole safety. There was cases that have been mentioned that people have been possessed by well, what appears to be an, an entity, but not exactly what has appeared to be as a ghost, but also a very dangerous spirit. What could be actually very demonic possession and demonic presence that is actually at the mansion. Lisa and the other rest of the crew, including Mike, is in the nerve center as Lisa is waiting for the arrival of my casino. To discuss more and to answer the questions for Lisa about the whole entire investigation on the murders. Let's see what he has to say here. And this is his arrival. So Lisa will be taking over from right here. Listen in carefully. Yeah! <laughs> Lisa? Hello, Mr. Casino. Oh, yeah, I see you know my name. Uh, so, so what seems to be the problem here? Do you guys see so far? You guys didn't yeah, go in there, well, did you? No, we didn't go in there. We were just investigating outside of it. 
Um, but we was thinking about actually going to investigate it a little bit tonight and see what we can find here because of what we, the story's been hearing about it. That's no problem. I'll see what I can find real quick on here. It's still daytime. I'm pretty sure there's going to be something here. And there's a... Whoa. Yeah. I'm just... I'm feeling it right here. Right now. Yeah. There's something here. Let's see what we can find. There's a vibe right here. Right towards these doors are. I can just feel it right here. This is where he was, I'm pretty sure. It's very high. Intensity right here. Hi. It's really bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's no problem. I mean, I can see what I can not exercise, or maybe I can talk to it. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I can't really guarantee you anything, but it's a possibility. Well, let me continue looking around. Let's see what else. Okay. So I know the story behind it, so guy actually murders his wife, and then he beats up his daughter along with it. But he took his own life. But I did read the reports... And it appears that there is a demonic possession here. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, do you suggest that we don't go exactly trying to go inside the house? We just no. investigate from the outside? From my, suge my, my recommendation is that no one to enter the house. It's best to stay out here. Because what you've been told, people here have actually been sneaking around a lot. It just, it just really depends who it is, mostly... Mostly teenagers, mostly adults that are real curious about the whole, the whole historical thing about what really happened. But um, the thing is, it's best not to go in. Well, at nighttime, it's it's pretty much worse. But right now, it's it's on a high level. But I think at night it's a little worse. So we just need to see how exactly, how bad it is, and see if we can conjure it. Hi. So, uh, does your boss know uh, the situation about this? Has he been inside yet or no? No, he has not been inside. He was investigating with us from the outside. <clears throat> okay, that's Wondering good. Wondering if we should go in or not because the story's Let's been see. told and the story that I told him that I had a, a little bit brief about that I had known with from a previous crew investigation that's been here. I see. This is not the first time I've done something like this. Um, you guys been to that chapel that's up in the... near the mountains up there? Yes, we have. Um, I saw an episode you guys were doing, and uh, your boss sent the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I do have my laptop with me all show you guys inside the vehicle so you guys can see what I found. <clears throat> he did ask me the uh, if I know what's what was the appearance about uh, on the uh, pictures and I actually figured it out. It's not really that hard. People usually form rituals, but here I, I'm pretty sure there was a ritual that was being worked on. Let me get it out real quick. Turn this thing on here. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna put it. I have it on the side of the seat, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, <clears throat> now here's the picture that was taken. I think this this was last year, correct? If I'm looking at it, this was different. Now this is a different whole concept that I'm looking at. So he said, this is 2021. 
Now this is 2022. And when you guys cause that little reaction to it, there's something more than what it was from last year. There's a face, there's a face, and there's something, something's telling you guys not to, not to be there. I'm looking at the uh, fires on there too, I'm looking at that partial recording there, and um, when I was there during the pandemic, um, when they were doing the investigation before you guys came in the picture, um, <clears throat> this is very, uh, there was a ritual there in that chapel. The shed itself, somebody behind it, was well, actually in the inside of itself was locked in. Someone was murdered. Beaten to death in there. It was never confirmed by a medical examiner, but this was this is the results right here. Let me show you. This one here. This is the chapel, St. Bridges Chapel here in the Hill Valley. In uh, Valley Hill. And the indication investigators found that the body was... Was actually, uh... Beaten. That was blood force trauma to the head. And there was actually bruising that was found on the body as well, including on the neck. Because it could be an abrasion. A struggle. And somehow, post-mortem was actually was actually at that time when they were investigating the body. So it looks like there was something else here. So I'm trying to figure out this dude, where this guy is that lived at this house here. Must have captured something along the way, or not. Hello? It's gotta be. But anyway, it's almost night time, so let me go ahead and get the confirmation real quick. So um, you guys wanna go ahead and get geared up and let your boss know I got everything taken care of. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of G. Oh my God, Ghost Hunters Mafia Society. We are now back in live here at the location, the the Los Feliz de Mansion. Sorry, my Spanish is not too good. It's all right. It's Los so Feliz it's... Uh, Murder House. Actually, continue. Yes. So we're about to go upstairs here and. Take a look around, and the UFO. So now the UFO wants to spawn, and then you can see right in front of me there is a UFO. I've been seeing that a lot lately. You know, uh, not long yeah, ago. Yeah, it recently. has something to do with the Halloween update that came out here on GTA. Kind of figured. So. Well, no. Well, just to let you guys know. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna interfere with my work. So. No. We're all good. No, no. It's totally over somewhere else. Not where we're located at. Okay. Very good. Just, uh, so here, I'm up here. I just had a conversation with Sir Casino. He literally told me that we should not go into the house because I guess it is very demonic. It happened during the evening, during the evening hours around this time, from yes. what according to investigators. So anything that's in there can get in right side your aura, your aura, you know, in other words, in your spirit yes. and soul. So. In other words, it's best not to enter in there. So for me, I'm gonna take the risk to go in. So I already got the approval. I so. just, I just want you to be very careful, Nita. I will. You don't need to. I'm gonna go in game now, so I won't be able to hear. Or maybe we only hear what's going on in game, and I gotta have my Rockstar recording going on so we can hear what's going on inside. They're not kidding about this. And here. please, nobody do not follow in game. I need to hear only in game action. So, are you okay? I'm on nerve center. We got the camera aiming at you. I read you. Everything's fine. Uh, nothing hasn't happened yet, so I'm okay. Over.
the other ghost crew are noticing I'm feeling a really bad presence here and I need to do an exorcism here immediately. So just please bear with me on this and I want you guys not to hear what's going on in the mic. So I made myself clear. Go ahead and uh, do your stuff. Go ahead. Ten four. The other one flashed out. The other one's gone. But anyway, guys, we need to check and see if 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 Deacon's okay because we really don't know right now. So let me take a look and see. Hold on. Would you would you stop tasing me? Yeah, hey, guys, hold on a minute. Hold on, quiet. Casino, is everything all right in there? I just exercised something, and uh, let me get back to the nerve center and see if we can get something out of there real quick. I'm about to come out pretty soon. Roger that. Just be really careful when you come out. Do me a favor, make sure nobody gets near the doors. Make sure to stay at least about six feet away from the house immediately. I repeat, six feet away from the house. Roger that. Best of luck to you. All right, guys, so he's in there doing something to see if what's... I think we're about to capture something pretty soon, so we're gonna, I'm going to go back to the nerve center and see what we can... If we finally got something. Because I think we well, got something the, on the cameras the, in there. The, the, oh, I, I heard an ex explosion. Can you guys wait for the for him to come out, please? I'm gonna, I need to go see if we can get something on the drone, so... Okay. 